So we can change the color of many objects in a lab view. We can change the color of most front panel objects. Paints on the front panel. and the block diagram workspaces. We cannot change the color of system controls and indicators because these objects appear in the colors we have set up for the system. If I try to change the color, this system string control will just refuse. So we can change, use the coloring tool by uh, either going to view menu and calling the tools palette and from there choosing the brush or we can also just shift right click and call a temporary uh, version of tools palette and then choose the brush tool then right click and choose a color that we would want and then clicking it. Another way to set the colors is to go to the tools menu and then from there go to options. Then go to environment category and from there scroll down to colors. By default it is set to use the default color. You can turn it off and then, then you can choose whatever color you want for the front panel, block diagram, quotient dot, scroll bar, blink foreground, blink background, menu text and menu background. And you can also define up to 18 named user colors in the color picker. To delete a color, remove its name from this dialog box. So there are some guidelines uh, which help us when we are using uh, colors on a, a front panel. For example, colors can distract the user from important information. For example, a bright yellow a bright orange, a bright green backgrounds can make it difficult to to see a red danger color. Some platforms 
provide limited colors. Black, white, and gray are often the best options for maintaining consistency on other platforms. Avoid using color as the sole indicator, indicator of device state. Use the line styles for plots. which you can choose from here. We can use the line styles for plots to add another differentiated factor because users with some degree of color blindness may have problems detecting the change in state. Use the light gray, white or pastel colors for backgrounds. Use the first row of colors in the color picker this one for front panel backgrounds and normal controls use the second row of colors in the color uh, picker for highlighting important controls such as uh, error notifications